welcome back guys this is dr apurva and today we are going to talk about something very important which i have been getting a lot of queries for it is like whether or not you should give your assembly step one before it turns pass or fail or whether or not it's, it's like good to give your assembly after it is pass or fail the answer to this is like very straightforward and let's try to cover them like as thorough as possible so this is the question which I have been getting like hey like is it is it okay if I give it after pass or fail or like will it just decrease my chances of getting matched or something so the simple answer to this is like it, it's not gonna make any difference be, like after you give after it, it becomes pass or fail because it's it's a universal application so after Gen 2022 whosoever is going to appear for step one the transcript the assembly's transcript is going to mention pass or fail so it's it's not the only you it's everybody who is going to appear for pass or fail will it hamper your application after you give it pass or fail the simple answer is no please try to understand why you assembly is thinking to get a scored version of your assembly to the pass or fail because they are now like trying to focus on the more holistic approach of choosing the medical students and and that holistic approach is like kind of more improvised version of the three digit score which they are using now and and more or less step one is kind of like basic science and so they now want to shift their focus into more clinical science that's step two ck so that's the score the no doubt the burden of scoring would now shift to the step two because that's the only three digit numerical value how the things can be compared between two students but if it's if it's like pass or fail it's not only you who is like getting pass or fail it's everybody so it's not that it's gonna hamper the application they need IMGs and they need to fill up those 4,000 5,000 seats to be filled so it's it's not gonna hamper it's your overall application and your holistic approach I mean the holistic approach for getting the candidate selected for residency will be acquired after the after the pass or fail okay so the, they are just trying to uh, remove the burden of three digit score okay so they just wanna uh, take off that stigma that if somebody has scored you are low on you step one that 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 doesn't should give stigma to somebody okay so they are just removing that the next important thing is whether or not you should take your step one before it turns pass or fail the simple answer is give your nbme's exam okay if in you if in the month of october or november in the december okay you just space out your nbme's a week apart okay there are a bunch of nbme's out there you can start from nbme 20 and schedule them weekly okay so and if you are scoring plus or minus 10 within your target score okay if you are scoring plus or minus 10 within your target score i wouldn't stop you from giving your assembly step one exam in the three digit scored version okay but if your nbme scores are like 200s 210s what is the fun in giving your assembly step one examination in scored version because this score is going to remain in your assembly transcript for your entire life you're not going to change this score okay and once you're having three digit score of course they retrospectively will not convert that into pass or fail so it largely depends on the nbme exam scores okay if you are getting an opportunity to get get the usmle if you are scoring 200 210 220 it's better it's better to give it like after it's pass or fail and just have the number just have the statement that the, the that this guy passed and you can focus more more on USMLE step 2 and scoring high on step 2. So this is the simple thing. Check your NBME performance. Plus or minus 10, go ahead and give. If not in your range, then it's better to give it after pass or fail because you don't, you're you not having around 3 months only so like uh, until it's going to convert into pass or fail. So that's the biggest thing. And this is a little introduction about my USMLE Step 1 live courses, okay? So we are going to start USMLE Step 1 live courses uh, from the 4th of September 2021. And uh, what's, what's good thing about this course is I'm going to focus both on Step 1 and Step 2. And the reason is like, so I want to make this course like as comprehensive as, as possible for, so that, that, that will help you for both step one and step two. For example, if I'm talking about aortic dissection, 
I'll ask you in step one, okay, that what's your first step in pathogenesis and you'll answer me in Timal theory. And at the same time, I'll mention, I'll also mention that if you are, if you are, if you are taking step two, the only thing which changes, everything remains same. The patient will have chest pain, which is radiating to back and blah, 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 BP discrepancy in the right and the left hand. And they'll ask you, what's your next step in management? And your answer is IV labitalol okay so we are going to have like comprehensive discussion it's going to be a group class so if you if you want to know more about this class or maybe take a 30 minute demo sessions or if you want to uh, like talk to me about your uh, personalized plans but personalized plans and we can just always like talk about you and make a 30 minute strategy plan for you so how how you can build upon your applications and all those things so you are always more than welcome to message me on instagram okay so that's dr apurva underscore Popat. so you can message me and we can schedule a call for you and maybe go forward from it okay so that's about my usmle step one live courses and that's all i mean take care and if there's anything i would be very happy to help you guys and just shoot me a message and i'll be there for you thanks a lot Thanks for watching. Take a good care of yourself. Thank you.